Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick little video on how to use um, the 3D tools in Photoshop to create a live interactive perspective grid in your viewport. Um, the idea came to me when watching um, one of the most recent Level Up sessions, and there's this program called Verve, which I've never used, but it you can paint and stuff in it, but it also has like a perspective grid inside the viewport, which I thought was really interesting. And Jonas DeRoe thought, hey, I bet you I could do that in Photoshop. So I decided that I was going to give it a whirl and see if I could do it, and I'll show you what I came up with in a second. It was also brought to my attention that another guy named Penny Men, I think his name is, um, came up with something very similar years ago, actually, in 2012, to what I'm about to do. Um, his looks nicer than mine and is probably better, but for whatever reason, I can't get it to work properly inside the viewport. It just, Photoshop doesn't like to rotate around the, around the geometry the way I would like it to. Anyways, this way is super quick and easy. And I have um, a handful of files I will give to you so you can set this up in, you know, a matter of seconds anytime you want. Um, first thing you're going to want to do inside Photoshop after you create a new document is go up to 3D and new 3D layer from file, right? And in here, I have three files that are OBJs, a small perspective, medium perspective, and a large perspective. Each one is basically an array of cubes, and each one is larger than the last, depending on what you need. So for example purposes, I'm going to choose large perspective. Just click OK. And what it does is it brings this cube in here for me. First thing I'm going to do is turn off the light, which gets rid of that, and then go to Scene. And then in here, what you want to do is go to load, and the same folder with those files is the perspective grid preset I made, which more or less gets rid of the triangles, any diagonals in the in the geometry, so you're left with just the right angles, and it also turns into a transparent perspective grid. So what you end up with is this. So it doesn't look too helpful at the moment, but what you do is using the tools to move around inside the viewport. What you can do is put yourself more or less sort of inside that geometry, and then you can rotate about like this, get whatever angle you want. And like I said, it's, it's a little bit crude, right? But just loading those two things, what you can do is figure out an angle for your perspective, maybe some three point, right? Which otherwise would be kind of difficult to sketch. And once you're happy with that, just click out of there, create a new layer. And what you can do after you create that layer is do any sketching or drawing underneath that layer. And for whatever reason, it's being kind of laggy for me, so I'm not going to sit here and really do an example for you or anything like that. But uh, obviously, you can sit there and block in any sort of stuff that you want using that perspective. You know, And if you decide that you want to change it after the fact, you can just click on that again, come up to your Move Tools, and just do the same thing and rotate the perspective. Figure, all right, maybe here now, right? Come back. Turn that off, maybe create a new layer, and do another sketch. Anyways, I hope that was helpful, and if you look in the description, I'll have those files for you. You can download them and give it a try yourself. This should work on Photoshop CC. It will also work on Photoshop CS6. I know CS5 is capable of 3D, and I assume it will work with that, but I cannot guarantee it. Anyways, good luck and take care.